bird, bird pop to reverse start. Point B is boom. Alright. And even maybe even a little further to reverse start. How what could go wrong in this pop? So you're in bird, boom. Now I'm gonna pop you up to reverse start. We're popping from a horizontal position into an inversion. Always the most dangerous pops. Always. Okay? Because you're asking for your head to land on the ground. Um, so of course we can go straight up and then go straight into the ground with your head. So what can I do as a base and what can you do as a flyer to keep this safe, okay? So from here, the first thing is hand placement. Um, it's about positioning the, how do you stack your arms. If I pop you from here and pop you straight up and keep my hands like here and bird, you, have, you won't have anything to push off of. Um, reverse star requires that the hands are lower, like not in this orientation, but turn out and underneath here, like this. You need to feel this push. Because when you're in, nice core please, from here, when you're here, if I keep my hands here, you can't push at all. You need this to push off of. You feel the difference? Mm -hmm. uh, start bringing hips over. Over this way. It's a reverse star. So hips, there you go, like that. You feel this? Here, you can't push at all. But here, it's like that tripod handstand. You can push off here more. So that's the first and foremost thing. We'll bring it down a sec. So the base and flyers, the hands aren't here. The hands will be here in the pop. So should, bird. Should they, should they be different at all? No, it feels a little okay. awkward, but I find that this grip is okay. the best. Because you're in bird here, and you're going to be here. Yeah. This is the reverse star hand placement. Okay. So you're starting in bird here, but you're going to end up, the arms will end up here. That's key, okay? Otherwise, you won't have anything to push off of. So that's one thing. A second thing is uh, with the pop one, two, the base has to really give you a really high pop because otherwise it's, it's hard for him to get or her to get the base to get their feet from the hips over onto your shoulders. So you got to really practice that big pop. <laughs> there, okay? I love that. So we just practice bird pops a few times to get that, right? So that's one way to warm up to it. Another thing is as you pop up, if you straddle out, it's going to be a lot easier for me to balance when I catch you in your shoulder. So one, two, pop and straddle out. That means you're popping from here to an inversion. So be really clear about that and get your hips over this way, right? So you have to start from here, just like the same idea of like walking into a headstand. You have to get your hips over. So how does that help? How do you do that? So when you go over and get your hips over, one thing you can do as a flyer is to look backwards because if you pop and look at the ground still it's going to be hard for you to get your hips over um, so i think you should pop and look back. look back and that way you can get your hips over when you first begin sure look at the ground because you'll feel safer right but when you do that you're going to pop up and likely just land right back into bird and land your feet this way right um, but eventually when you build up that trust you want to pop up and look back so when you do that your hips will come over and then you roll over this way, which is I think will be safer because you're landing on your feet again. So it's that kind of balance between where you feel, how strong you feel as a flyer, um, and how much you do you trust your base and play within that space. Uh, specifically speaking, if you feel like you're a really strong flyer, you can push off like that, look on the ground, because that means you're pushed off and then you feel like you can control yourself down by just pushing back out to the side, like twisting out to the side. But if you feel like you have a lot of trust in your base and your base can really pop you, go ahead and look back and that way your hips will come over a little easier. Do you do, do, you do any uh, foot to hand? Foot to hand? Yeah. Sometimes. Uh, okay. Yes, sometimes. So, um, I was thinking about standing up on your Yes. So let's, for now, let's pop over from reverse bird, I'm um, sorry, bird into reverse star. Okay. okay? Yeah. Sorry, sometimes I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot, a lot you want to try out. I get it. Okay, I just, I was envisioning when I got into throne, and then that my hands are on your feet. Yes. Or my feet are on your hands, and I was like, oh, I can yeah. stand up. Yes. <laughs> you can. Anyway. Okay. Um, So because we're popping, we need to really get in the present moment because it could go wrong fast. So let's get really clear where we're going. Okay? I know, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay.
So let's get, um, let's be clear where we're going, we're going to reverse star, right? So um, let's, everything before we pop it, we're going to walk it first. So why pop something if you can't walk it, right? So let's first, um, I'll take this foot off, I'll actually just dip your shoulder. Now the hands here go low, right? And we're going to over straddle, and then we're going to come up. You see how when I'm pushing up, I'm also pushing in the hands here. Mm -hmm. So you're helping me with my, so I'm not using all my leg stretch. We're pushing together like that. Good. And did you notice when you look to the ground, you're likely to fall back on your feet. But if you look back a little yeah. more, your hips will come over a little sure, more. Okay? Sure. So again, let's walk it again. This time, let's walk this foot over. Okay. Straddle out. Arms are low. Good. Push into me. There it is. Boom. And when I catch you, eventually, I want to catch you right here. It wouldn't go right into it. Right? I want to catch you a little low like that. Okay, back down on your feet this way now. Land, land, feet this way, the other way. Pike, pike, pike. There it is. Boom. Good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like this way, I'm like, which way? Which way? So let's try going from burr to reverse star, okay? This time with a pop. Okay. So that means when we pop, the hands go here, you're pushing in through them, and you're going to straddle your legs out. Okay? Straddle legs. Most important thing I would say for this one, is get your um, one, two pop, is to push off your hands, okay? Because even if you push off too far, you'll land this way. If you don't look back enough, you'll land this way. But if you push in the hands, you'll be you'll have more safety, okay? One, two pop, and then push. One, two, pop. Down! You okay? Yeah. Where'd you land? I would just finish. Shoulder? Are you okay? Yeah. Wow. We landed pretty hard. Did you? You're good? Are you? Yeah, I'm fully okay. Okay. So, one thing I learned from that, I love learning with you. I feel like uh, um, I'm relearning the things that I know. And that time I found that I need to pop a little harder. Um, one, pop a little further up so I have more room to catch you. And then two, I think if one thing you can help me with is maybe push into my hands a little more. So I'll, I'll bring my hands out and then really push. Can we maybe I didn't push enough. Can you start with your hands and push your hands? We could. Let's give it a try. Can you put on your shoulder on this side? I mean, I've. Tight core for you, okay? The tighter your core, the easier it be for me to pop off. Okay? Yeah, and I guess timing wise, maybe that's another thing that yeah. I was off on and I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to flip, right? So, yes, so with pops, timing is essential. I totally agree. So I'll go, okay, uh, one, two. One, two, pop. So it'll be one, two, down, pop. Is that pretty good? So would, would it be better and just to go? When do I do something? I, I, just, I don't do yeah. anything until your feet have left. Yeah, so I want you to actually go, when I go down, I want you to bring your legs down towards me. So straddle, down, yes. And when I come up, I want you to swing your legs back up. So flip your legs over back. This way. So you're doing basically, you're doing, uh, so you're like in, let's just say you're in bird here, right? One, two, legs down, and then flip them up. like bird. So you're in bird here. So two, the bird are two, one, legs down, legs down when I go down, down and then up. Because see, I think I definitely was trying to continue to push my legs down, like more of like, more similarly to when we pop from back bird.